Hi, my name is Graham Potter and in the workshop today I've bought a couple of little trees. On the face of it, this little guy has lots of potential for bonsai and a lot of people would be very happy to have this on their benches. This guy here looks like firewood. In actual fact it's not firewood, this is firewood. Now on the face of it many people would think this is not a suitable plant to be turned into bonsai but in actual fact this tree has got great character uh, and even though it's got more than its fair share of problems we can use some uh, carving techniques particularly wiring shaping and so on and apply those techniques to this type of material to make something very special and obviously today I, uh, I'm going to be walking you through that process. One of the things you notice about this tree when you first come to it is the fact that the wood is completely rotten as you can uh, as you can see here the knife just goes right into the wood it's completely soft and that's something that would bother a lot of people but in actual fact that's really quite exciting because I know that underneath here that rot is going to have removed a lot of the bulk of this wood and when we get rid of that soft material we're going to find something really interesting. For many years now I've been using stumps like this to make bonsai and I have to say it's still very exciting because when you have these big blocks of wood and not much inherent natural character this tree really is uh, a blank canvas upon which we can create within the limitations of its uh, own shape any, any kind of bonsai. This can be really interesting and excellent material and of course it's not something that's going to uh, break the bank if you wanted to buy this as raw material. When it's finished that may be a different thing. Another feature of this material that makes it potentially very suitable for bonsai is the fact that we've got some nice mature branching. You can just about see here some of these branches are nice and thick with lots of nice side shoots and while they're a little bit straight we're going to be able to manipulate those because they're not too big. In dealing with trees that are extensively rotted as this one is, it's very important that we remove all the soft corky material. There's absolutely no point in trying to preserve it or keep it. But one of the good things is once you get through the soft material as I'm doing here, the wood gets harder and harder. And where you can see the colour changes from that soft brown to this much lighter material. This is very hard wood. And this we're going to be able to uh, keep and preserve in the usual way.
Making small gins from material like this is very simple. In order to strip the bark, we just take a pair of gin pliers and just crush that. And because it's green, there's sap under it, you see it just practically falls off. And having done that, we then crush the end of the wood with the pliers. And we can just peel that down. Okay, and then we just take a gas torch, burn the ends, wire brush it, and that's done. Taxus is a tree that builds up a great deal of uh, foliage density and what I'm doing here is basically removing the needles or the leaves from the old shoots where the, where it's turned woody, where it's lignified we can, uh, we can strip those out that enables us to get the wire in uh, without doing any damage to the foliage and also encourages back budding uh, for next year's growth so by next spring there'll be buds popping up all along this woody growth and where we've got these little dense clusters of buds like this we just go through those take the small ones out perhaps we'll leave the larger ones as in here they'll become uh, future side branches and so basically once that's all cleaned out like that that's ready to be able to go through and to wire that